What's good, family? It's your girl, Renee B. Also known as Queen Soon. And before I go inside and carry these groceries in, I wanted to release this word that the Lord wanted me to come and share with you real fast. But at first, I want to celebrate reaching over 100 subscribers, 800 subscribers. Um, I don't really celebrate milestones the way that I should. And um, quite frankly, I felt like you know, giving away some money or something like that. That's usually what I like to do when I'm celebrating a milestone. I like to give away a cash out to somebody that leaves a comment like $10, $20 for lunch. One person um, ended up being my cousin. She she won $100. So um, anyway, shout out to the subscribers. Shout out to the people who be leaving positive feedback in the comment section because I really appreciate that so much. Um, I know people look at online stuff like it's not real, but a person can be faking your face. You feel me? And I be feeling the vibes. I can I can peep the energy. I can read the room from a mile away. You understand what I'm saying? And so um, that be by the grace of God, you know. And it is a topic that I want to discuss with you that I came up with um, a couple a couple days, if not some weeks ago. Um, the first one is God dependent, God sufficient, and cash is key. And then on another day, I wrote what I do when I feel weird energy. And I did not mean for that to rhyme, but that's how God be doing it. You feel me? Um, God dependent, God sufficient, and cash is key, right? So there has been a colloquialism going around for many generations that say cash is king, right? Mean cash runs everything around me. Cream, get the money, dollar, dollar bills, y'all. You feel me? But the Lord gave me a different perspective. Instead of saying cash is king because he is the king in my life. God is king in my life. Yeshua HaMashiach is the king in my life. And then whenever God blesses me with a spouse, whenever a person has a spouse, that person becomes your king and your queen type. You feel me? And so when it comes to cash, it's just a tool. It's not it's not anything that runs something. Cash comes to me so I can run things. I'm the one that gives cash something to do, right? I'm the one that gives cash somewhere to be. You feel me? If it wasn't for me, cash would be nothing in my life. You feel me? I'm the one that placed value. I'm the one that determined what is worthy of being purchased or how much money to get and how much to spend and how much. You feel me? So cash is key, right? Like money answers everything normally if you have God's grace. You know what I'm saying? But there is a part in life where money can't help you with everything. There's a time in your life where money is not going to be able to get you out of a situation or a circumstance. You're going to need really to lean on God's grace. And he always say that his grace is sufficient, right? Grace can get you where places that a grant can't, you know? So be God sufficient. Instead of being um, codependent, be God dependent. Instead of being independent, be God dependent be interdependent you feel me you are sufficient because of god's grace you are god sufficient he gave you enough he made sure you had what you needed all the time and most of the things that you like and also as i was driving in god put on my heart how he want you to start talking to him more about the things that you like and what I saw was a person really just sitting, thinking to God, like, oh, I like that. Like, just going throughout their day, like, oh, God, I like that. Oh, that's cute, too, God. I like that. Oh, that's nice. I would love to try that. Oh, that's cool. Let's see what that's like. You know what I'm saying? And that's good because it's important to be at a at a place of maturity where you can see things that you like and understand that just because that's good for them, just because they look cute on them, just because that works for them, that don't mean it's going to work for you. Just because it put a smile on their face don't mean it's going to put a, spout, a smile on your face. So some people are going to have to do some trials. Some people are going to have to, you know, test some stuff out before you really, you know, commit to it. But definitely start talking to God about things that you would like to experience, things that you would like to encounter. And remember that with blessings come responsibility. And excuse my appearance in this video. It's just not something that I'm able to take a, like... 
I, I don't care in this season, right? Even when it comes to being on camera, like I never been into my appearance. I've always been someone that took care of my appearance. I like to keep my hair done. I like to have my nails done, but I don't care about that stuff. Like I know it ain't me, right? It's like money. Like I make the nails, the nails don't make me. I make the videos for the nails. That that junk don't make me. Well, it might one day. It might make me very successful one day. I don't know, but I I can't be anything but myself in this season. I don't know if it's because I'm in a recovery period, if it's because I've been in a transition. I'm not tired. I'm not drained or anything like that. I just feel like I'm at a place in my life where I can just be myself. And I don't have to put on no airs. I don't have to cake on a bunch of makeup. I don't have to wear lashes unless I legit want to. And... I remember a time where it wasn't really like that. I remember a time where I had to wear clothes that I didn't want to wear, where I had to go out and be around people when I didn't want to be around them. Like, you feel me? And had to do stuff, felt like I had to do stuff that I didn't really want to do. And I did have to sit down and talk to God about how I did want my life to be instead of complaining about how it was and how tired I was and stuff like that. I had to start being like, you know, God, I would like to be like this. I would like to do that and do this or whatever. And Things didn't come about in a way that I would have expected it to, but I definitely was able, ooh, and this reminded me of something that the Lord um, told me. Things didn't come the way that I expected it to, but it definitely came, you know, it ended, it came. So something that the Lord had put on my heart recently was like, when it comes to manifesting money, I don't know if somebody has been on that type of journey but instead of focusing on a specific amount of money, focus on the type of lifestyle that that money can provide. So if you want the money so that you can live a laid back life, then just start relishing in the ideas of having a laid back life and what that would be like and what that would feel like and the type of stuff you would do, what your days would be like and things like that. It's important to... Um, what I was finna say without even thinking was condition your vortex, which is like your imagination. It's important to feed your subconscious and feed your imagination, also known as your vortex, with images of wealth, which is more so than a check, right? Like, instead of being like, oh, I would love a $20,000 check, like I would, like I do, I have specific amounts that I would love to manifest, you know? But whenever I get stuck on that amount the lord be letting me see how quickly those monies can dissipate how quickly that money can go you know and the lord be letting me know like sometimes you sometimes you don't have to buy stuff sometimes god want to just bless you with it sometimes you don't people not having to buy a house god just bless them with a house sometimes people don't have to buy clothes god be having people just bless them with clothes you know because they fed their subconscious and they open themselves up to trust God to provide for them in all kind of way. It don't got to come a specific type of way. The money, the possessions, the materials can come however God see fit. But we know that it is coming. We know that it is our portion. And something that the Lord been putting in my heart is how it's his objective to have us be satisfied. So I've been thanking him like, God, thank you for satisfying me. God, thank you for you know, covering me and making sure that, you know, life isn't, it's not just work or just play, right? Like it's balanced. So, um, the next topic that I wanted to speak on that I was reminded of today because of something weird that happened was how I handle weird energy. What I do what I, when I feel weird energy and, um, you know, I had just went to the liquor store to get a little bottle because it's finna be raining and, you know, I'm cooped in the house and, you know, and when I say little bottle, I mean little bottle, like a little bottle, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I don't know if people in the store follow me on social media or something. I don't know if they be watching my videos and hear me talk about the adverse effect of drinking too much alcohol and information that I found as it pertains to alcohol because I be needing that. 
God be needing to remind me of certain things and he will send me content and messages through a multiplicity of platforms and stuff like that. And I'll come here and I'll share that because if I'm dealing with something, most likely God will lead someone to me that I can speak a word from to deliver them or to help them as he helped me. You know what I'm saying? So they read it and be like, ooh, here she come again, or here she, there she go type. You feel me? And I've seen them, like, commenting on my nails, commenting on, you know, different things. And it made me wonder, like, more than three times, like, do they follow me on social media or something? I went in there one time recently and the girl was like, oh, I see you got your nails on again. And I'm like, I never took them off. I never stopped. Even after I had the grease fire. But now I am going to take a break. Now, you know, it made me be like, now I am going to take a break. Now I am going to lay back. Now I am going to chill. Now I am going to relax. Now I'm going to take a break. Now I am going to let them breathe. You know what I'm saying? Like, some of you guys can experience walking into a store and they speak to everybody that walk in but you. You go to the cash register and they look at you all weird and kind of be dry with you. Pam dust. I've said that in recent messages. See, the Lord said, like, people feel, you know, people feel encouraged when they can give others the peace of their mind and be like, you know, exchange a negative. They give you weird energy, you give them weird energy back. But you will be way more powerful if you just talk to God about it. Like, the most powerful thing you can do is keep your peace and let God handle it. Because some people you will never see again around messing with you when you in good energy and they decide to rain on your parade. God will make sure you never see them again. God will make sure that they'll never rain on anybody else's parade again. So when it comes to, like, what I do when I feel weird energy, sometimes I ignore it. I'm really good at minding my own business. And a business, my nobody business. I didn't live my new and I in my life. Ain't no business, my nobody business. I don't know. Um, but I'm really good at minding my business. So I can really just ignore stuff, especially if I'm just passing through and you're like a nobody to me you're like nothing to me like you're literally nothing to me like even if you had the opportunity to be something or somebody in my life you would choose not to be type you feel me so i i will it's like i'm paying your dust like you literally don't exist like i might not even make eye contact with you type you feel me like and i don't mean to be that way but that's just how i protect my energy so when i leave certain people's presence I'm not carrying their negativity. I'm not carrying the energy of my interaction with them, you know, with me. And so I feel like I want to encourage you this week, whenever you are watching this, whether it be today or 10 years from now, you know, pay them people dust that's not doing you right. It ain't worth the energetic exchange. It ain't worth it. Ain't worth it. You feel me like. Something else that was brewing as I was pulling up to share with you is like, not that you're not in control of how people think of you because you are in control of what you do, right? So if you do something, like if you lie to somebody and they look at you like a liar, then fine. If you're a hypocrite and they look at you like a hypocrite, then fine. But if they are literally a nobody, like I said, an outsider, somebody who obviously doesn't care about you personally who doesn't care to get to know you personally who does not care about facts they just walk around with the funnest perception that they can create of you and if they're like a nasty nasty spirit if they're like a gossiper who love to see people look bad who love to make people look bad who love to make people sound bad who love to make people look broke and sound broke because it make them feel rich when they like scum when they're worse than gum under your shoe, when God would not approve, like when they, if if God like if ooh, there is a remnant of people who will call out to the Lord and He will say, "Girl, bye, I don't know you." Even demons will be like, "All right, I'm familiar with Queen Suma, but 
I don't care nothing about what you're talking about, right? Because there's some people who will try to cast out a demon, who will try to cast out a, a bad energy, a bad aura, who will try to control a thunderstorm, you feel me? Who will try to speak to a mountain and tell it to move, and it will go nowhere because they have no ranking in the spirit. They have no authority in the spirit. God bless everybody who got ears to, ears to hear this. I just want you to know that if nobody else got your back, God got your back. Imagine that. Imagine that. What song is that? Imagine that. Will this world take me down? Imagine what I call Sarasin. Imagine Anglo Saxon. Mm -hmm. who is that anyway y'all if y'all made it to this part of the video i'm wrapping up the message leave me a comment down below leave some sort of emoji to describe how you feel and much love to everybody who is connected to me on here especially if you're a content creator if you're a youtuber if you're someone who is an entrepreneur you're a stay-at-home mom you're somebody who does something as employment that somebody has devalued had downgraded but you know that you work hard you know that you handle your business and you mind your business you just live your life shout out to you much love to you may you have a peaceful week may you have a peaceful life may you see that you have what you need at all times may you be able to sit well and eat good and, and, and exercise well have a balanced life plenty of hydration plenty of water plenty of watermelon juice plenty of, of real fruits and if you like a nice bag of chips every now and then may it be bestowed upon you the best snacks to choose from so many snacks that you don't even want them so much food that you could go a day or two without eating by choice you feel me like i don't know i just feel like that's what i want for the person who is listening to this i don't even know who who's listening to this right now but i just want you to like relax breathe easy you feel me if you have muscles specific muscles that have been overworked relax take a good cold shower take a good hot shower give yourself a full body massage with whatever lotion coconut oil olive oil make sure you are clean inside and out and shout out to my homeboy who went and got tested and got back their results and all the results was clean it was clean i know that's a really good feeling that's something worth celebrating Shout out to everybody who take care of themselves. Everybody who out here taking care of themselves. Everybody out here doing their best. And not out here starting a bunch of mess. Not out here spewing out negative energy. Spewing out unnecessary criticism. Not that I'm sensitive. Not that I'm being sensitive and I don't got thick skin. You feel me? But them people get plenty of shine. Right now, I want to shower shower the other people with love. The people in the background keeping stuff going. The people in the background keeping stuff together. The people staying out the way. The people staying out of drama. The people that's not adding fuel to the flame out here instigating stuff. The people that's not out here just running their mouth and being rude and disrespectful to anybody that they can alienate and disrespect. People that really got good hearts. And they heart so good that they got to be in hermit mode. It's people out here who heart so good, they got to be in hermit mode because whenever they show people they heart, it gets stumped on. It gets spitted on. sometimes in their face most of the time it's done behind their back most of the time it's something that god had to expose it's something they had to just stumble upon they had to just walk up on the mother on the person talking junk god had to expose it and then sometimes it's done to their face shout out to the people who protecting their heart protecting their space staying armored up it takes wisdom to do that. It takes strength and consistency. It takes discipline to do that. Your body probably look good. I 
Amazing things start happening when you mind your business and you focus on yourself and getting yourself to where you want to be in life. And you start talking to God about where you want to be in life and what you want to do next in life. Wonderful things start happening. Beautiful connections, beautiful friendships. Uh, the Lord just said your next friendships will be your best friendships. Friendships better than family. Maybe you already had this going on or whatever. Hey, and, and don't, like, I don't want nobody trying to define me, trying to put me in a box, trying to say, oh, you do this, you, what you doing is this, what you doing is that. Look, it is what it is. I'm out of here. I got to go carry this stuff in. I'm sure my dog needs to go for another while. You want to see what's in my bag? I'm not gonna show you what's in my bag. I got a couple of things, some laundry stuff. I don't think I'm gonna be able to carry all of this thing right now, but y'all, until next time, be blessed and at peace. Okay? Bye.